Oh my gosh, it's so moist. Oh, it's so moist. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so very happy to see you today. If you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. I'm very happy to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing, but it is not just an unboxing. That's why this video is a little long. Sorry about that. But it's like 10 videos in one because we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm also going to be putting on every single product that I got in this box on my face. I'll be giving you guys a little bit of my first impressions about it. And then I'll also be doing a check-in at the end of the day to show you guys how the makeup held up and then I'll do a little review for you guys as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before we get started, do not forget to go ahead and enter into our giveaway we have going on right now. We have a giveaway going on on this channel every single month because you guys are awesome and I love giving back to you. So if you have not already, go ahead and enter into that giveaway. I will link it down below for you guys or I'll put a card on the screen and I'll also put it at the end of this video so you'll definitely be able to find it. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment on that giveaway video and then you're entered to win. All right, so since this video is a little bit longer than normal, I will definitely be putting timestamps down in the description so you can click through and see what you want to see. But let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, you guys, I am completely barefaced because my last try on unboxing, I was like, wait a minute, what if I get like a moisturizer or a foundation or a BB cream or something? I'll have to completely like wash my face and go through all those steps. So I figured I would just start off barefaced. All right, so let's start going to the box and seeing what we got. Now I have seen a couple of like potential spoilers, like things you might get in your box, but I do not know what is in here just yet. So I'm pretty excited. One thing I can say is that it's like bulging. It's like rounded on the top. So this is what it looks like when you open up the box. We have our little pamphlet on top here that tells us everything that is inside, but I'm going to set that to the side so I don't ruin any surprises. Just at a first glance, it seems like we have some awesome things in here. So let's go ahead and pull out the first thing I am seeing, which is this little box here. Alrighty, first up, we have a diamond glow powder from Artist Couture. And this is yet another highlighter. It seems to have been a trend with BoxyCharm in the past several months that no matter what else comes in this box, we're gonna get a highlighter. So yet again, we have a, another highlighter. This one looks super shimmery and shiny, so we'll definitely be trying this on today. All right, next up in here, something I'm pretty excited about. We have an Ofra liquid lipstick, and they also have a little 30% off coupon here. This one actually looks like a really beautiful, like wearable color or something I would even reach for myself. So very excited to try this. All right, let's keep diving in. The next thing I see in here I'm also pretty excited about, this is a Real Her Playbook eyeshadow palette. And this is the number two. I'm not sure if there's like a variation this month or if everybody got the number two, but mine is in the shade Two. And according to the back of this box, these eyeshadows are supposed to be paraben-free, cruelty-free, have natural ingredients, be vegan, long-wearing, and sulfate-free. So that is really awesome. Really quickly, this is just what the packaging looks like. I actually kind of like it. It's like a matte black background with kind of like some shiny accents on top. Kind of cute. And then the packaging of the actual palette itself is very reminiscent of the front with the matte black and the shinier accents. And uh, yeah, I like it. Alrighty, here are the shadows within the palette. I do like this very neutral color palette. I think it would be suitable for a lot of people. I wish there were maybe some deeper colors in there, but that's just me. And then it also comes with a mirror with a little piece of protective plastic over it, but the mirror itself does look pretty nice, so I enjoy that. All right, I'm gonna get you guys some real quick, like, Wolverine-style swatches here. Alrighty, so here we have the world's wonkiest swatches. They're just, they're all over the place. I don't even know what's going on. The shadows are pretty creamy to the touch. They swatched pretty well, not patchy. The pigmentation is pretty decent. The only thing that's really bothering me about these is that the color palette is so similar that some of the shades almost read like the same once they're applied. So I think a little bit more like variation with the shades might have been nice, but honestly these are really pretty shadows and uh, I'm excited to try them out because these are right up my my color scheme alley. Alrighty, we just have a couple things left in here before we get to the trying on portion. So let's go ahead and grab out the next thing, which I'm very excited about. This is a Luxie brush, and I absolutely love getting these in my boxes. It just makes me real happy. Now, this one looks very interesting to me because even this little thing, I can tell it's real long. 
Alrighty, this is definitely different than any brush I currently own. Does this not look like a broomstick to anybody else besides me? Like from Harry Potter? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure if it is supposed to be bent this way or if that's just something that happened like because it was shoved in the box like this. Either way, it is very, very soft and like very nice to the touch nice and fluffy. This is supposed to be a Pro Precision Tapered Brush, a Luxie 640, and I'm not 100% sure what you're supposed to do with it, but we will definitely figure that out when we read the little pamphlet at the end. All right, the last item in the box makes me very happy that I did not decide to put on foundation already because we got sheet masks, and I'm gonna try on everything in this box, including these sheet masks, or at least one of them. I don't want to do three masks in a row. That's a bit... That's a bit extra. All right, we got three different sheet masks, and I think I actually have a couple masks already from this brand. These are from Biobel, I believe, if that's how you say it. These masks seem very interesting. This one says to hydrate and nourish. This one has collagen and avocado in it, and this one is supposed to prep the skin for a flawless makeup application. So I think this is the one that we're gonna be testing out today. All right, everybody, that is everything that we got in our box, and it is time to put it all on our face. So I'm going to start out with this tea tree oil rose hip extract vitamin C mask that is supposed to enhance radius, minimize pores, and even skin tone. Alrighty, so I just grabbed a clip really quick. I'm just going to clip back my hair here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I look like I did at my senior prom. Thank God I've learned a couple things since then. But let's go ahead and get this face mask on so uh, we can fix the situation real quick. Oh my gosh, it's so moist. Oh, it's so moist. Oh, it smells kind of good though. Ugh. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's so cold. Alright everybody, I'm gonna leave this creepy like second alien skin on my face for five minutes because that's what the instructions say to do. And then we will see if it has worked any of its magic. Does anyone else not think that these are super creepy? Like if I saw somebody coming at me like I would run for the hills. This is so creepy looking. Like it almost looks like a regular face, but it almost looks like you're in a horror movie. Every time I see one of these things, the first thing that pops into my mind is Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Alrighty guys, it is in five minutes. Let's go ahead and peel this puppy off. Ooh. Alrighty, I'm gonna go wash this off really fast and I'll be right back. Alright everybody, I've gone ahead and washed off the excess and my skin does feel pretty soft, but I'm noticing in certain areas it's feeling kind of dry, which I didn't expect, especially for some reason around my mouth and nose. Hopefully I'm not having any type of reaction or anything to this mask, but I am gonna go ahead and moisturize just a little bit because it will feel uncomfortable for the rest of the day to me if I do not have any type of moisture on my face. And this uh, Will Hendrickson moisturizer is a little bit like tacky and sticky anyway, so I feel like my makeup should stick fine to it. I was actually going to go ahead and test it and see if I could just use it as primer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit around those really like kind of dry tingly areas and then we will put just makeup straight on the rest. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup really fast and then we'll move on to the rest of the BoxyCharm makeup. with the exception of eyes, lips, and highlight, and all that is going to come from BoxyCharm. Now, the way the makeup applied over top of the priming mask I think was okay. There were certain areas of my face, like right here on my cheek, for some reason, for some reason, the makeup wasn't sticking as well as it typically does. I really get full coverage pretty much with my Revlon color stay, but for some reason I was just having issues right there. Now that might not be the mask's fault, that could just be some like texture things I got going on right now. All right, so let's go ahead and start trying on the makeup products that we received. Now I'm gonna go a little bit like out of order of what I would typically do for some reason. I just feel like it today, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try out the highlight we got and this little brush here. I read on the pamphlet that came with the box that this can be used for like sweeping away under eye powder or highlighting. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it with this highlighter and see how it works out. Alrighty, so this highlight comes with a little sifter on this side and this like apparatus here that closes when you are finished with it which I like. Alright so with the Luxie brush I just dipped in and we're going to go ahead and try this on the cheekbone. Ho, 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 ho. 
Can you guys see what's happening here on my face? All right guys, here it is on one side of my face and I actually think it's super pretty looking. It catches the light really nicely. There is like a little bit of glitteriness to it. I can see kind of like around, but right where I apply the product, it does kind of meld into the skin more and doesn't really set on top, which I like. This brush for applying highlight I thought worked pretty well. Obviously it put it on there pretty decent. Uh, my personal preference is something that's a little bit more stiff because I really like to work highlight into my skin, but I think this is a really nice soft brush and I'm excited to use it for more things. So I'm going to quickly apply this to the other side and then we'll move on to the eyeballs. There is a bit of like flyaway and kick up as I'm moving the brush around and I do see like glittery pieces kind of flying over my face, but I still think it's pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to eyes. Now that our face is done, I'm gonna have to do a super quick eye look because I'm supposed to be at my grandma's for dinner in like 20 minutes. So let's see what we can quickly put together. I'm gonna go in first here with Driven. I'm just gonna use my finger. This is going to act as a base for the rest of the shadows. All right, that was actually pretty creamy and pigmented. So next up, I'm going to take a fluffy brush into Invincible down here and just kind of blend that into my lid. smaller fluffy brush I'm gonna go into indomitable which I do not know what means I'll have to look that up all right next I think I'm gonna go with my finger actually and take awesome and just pat it all over the lid all right next I'm going to take limitless with my finger again and just pop a little bit of it in the center to give the eye some pop all right right underneath the lash line, I think I'm going to use Indomitable again. Alright, so I'm going to apply some liner and mascara really quickly and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here it is with the liner and mascara on. I just used my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and then the Shock Volumizing Mascara by YSL. I actually really liked the way that the eyeshadows applied. I thought they blended pretty nicely. The pigmentation was nice. I do still wish there was a little bit more like differentiation, is that the right word, in color, but I still think they're very pretty shadows. All right, now the last thing we have to do is put on the lips, and I realized that I did a pretty dark eye look, and this is a pretty dark lipstick, but uh, we're just gonna go for it today, that's fine. So this is the overall long-lasting lipstick, and what shade is this? I'm having a really hard time finding a shade name for this, actually, so I do not know what shade this is, but we're gonna go ahead and try it on. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. I am excited excited about this. All right, you guys, so here's everything with the liquid lipstick on. I actually really like it. I like the liquid lipstick. I like how it works with the eyeshadows. I am very, very happy with this BoxyCharm. I always love BoxyCharm, but this one is just like, I don't know, like it's making me real happy. All right, so since this video is already like seven videos in one, I think I'm gonna do a check-in with you guys later to show you how this makeup look has worn throughout the day. Like I said, I'm gonna go to dinner at my grandma's and then I'll come back here, do some other things, and I'll show you guys how the makeup has held up. It is currently 5.09, very late in the day to be doing your makeup, but oh well. So I will see you guys later on tonight and we'll see how this makeup held up throughout the day. All right, everybody, it is the end of the night here, or at least it is for me because I am super duper tired, but I wanted to show you guys how the makeup held up throughout the day. All right, so for the highlight here, I can still see like a little bit of glow when I move my face around and it catches the light, but I think a lot of the like original glow that we had is pretty much gone. I did catch a glimpse of myself today as I was walking into my grandma's house like in the car window and I look like a freaking glitter disco ball. Um, I could definitely see like glitteriness like happening like all over my face and my hair and everything. So that highlight definitely does have some glitter to it. So if that's not your thing, that might not be the highlight for you. I personally like a highlight that's a little bit more like subtle, I guess. As for the lipstick, I did not reapply after I ate dinner. I did have a salad with a fair amount of ranch dressing on it. And it definitely did break down the liquid lipstick, but it left me with like this kind of like pink stained lip. And I like it actually. So I didn't feel the need to reapply or anything. All right, as for the eyeshadow, it's a little bit harder to judge how it wore because I touch my eyes constantly. So you can see over here, like it's starting to come off a little bit. 
Um, on this side, it's not as bad though, because I feel like I touched this eye less for some odd reason. But I still can see the shimmer on my lids and like the transition color and the deeper crease color. So I think they stayed on pretty well. As for my foundation, I think it stayed very well on top of the priming mask. It didn't like break it down or make it oily or slip side around or anything. So I think it did a good job. So this month, I'm very happy with my boxy charm. I guarantee that I'm going to get use out of every single thing in my box, which is more than I can say for a lot of boxes. So I'm very excited about it. I think this month my box was valued at $113, which is absolutely fantastic for a $21 box. You really couldn't ask for much more, so I'm just, I'm very happy. Thank you, BoxyCharm. I'm very happy. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. I know this video was a little bit longer than typical, but thank you for holding in there with me. I hope this was one of the most thorough BoxyCharm unboxings you've ever seen. But other than that, I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!